Hello there everyone and welcome to the start of a new campaign in Hoi 4 Kaiserreich in which we're playing as everyone's favorite Pacific States of America. And of course we own Alaska as well, but we gotta talk about the 1937 election. Despite the chaos in San Diego, elections proceeded in an orderly fashion in many other cities along the Pacific Coast with limited unrest. General MacArthur said to be furious at this open flouting of the sanctity of law and order and declared that the new so-called president would be subject to the same punishments as Huey Long and Jack Reed if he did not immediately surrender the coast to the federal government. The mood of the western states is one of defiance. And the leader they've elected as interim head of the American government is... Hiram Johnson, governor, I'll go with the Republicans for now as we are currently doing create the Western Defense Command. Since we claim to be the real America, and our army is officially the United States of Army, the command hierarchy remains unclear on many levels as such. While we'll push for the creation of the Western Defense Command, an apparent detachment of the army which will work independently, and will reunite with the army and structure once civil war, of course, is won. So now, oh, Japan? Sure. Sure thing, Japan. A lot of convoys, that's okay. Do we want to wet? That's not bad defense on core territory and more population. Or do we want Carlet Marshall? Which you get more group of population as well, and attack and defensive core territory. 90 division army plan, motorization, increased tank production. It's not bad, you lose some reliability though, but whatever. Officer instruction, more organization, which is pretty darn good. Improved recon units. Oh, I like that a lot. Start Operation Glacier. More attack. Lose that attack on core territory. It's not bad. Or logistical. Ooh, logistical security though. Hmm. More max entrenchment. So this looks more to focus on defense. And people with the bite and hold. You get more defense. That's actually really good, too. Mm, engineers. Ooh, even more entrenchment. Ooh, I don't know if I've ever done this. So I don't, I've never played as a PSA in Kaiser Reich. I've done it once in Kaiser Redux, but at the time of this recording, just never Kaiser Reich. Oh, you get more attack and speed. And you get more organization. 10% more organization is nothing to laugh at, though. Even though I like max planning for attack. Uh, let's go with George Catlett Marshall. Brigadier General George Catlett Marshall has come to us with a darning prediction if the West Coast fa fails to cross the Rockies and secure a foothold in the Midwest, and if he will be sure. In his view, a quick advance through the Rockies with the help of motorized elements will see us through the Civil War. With him as Commander-in-Chief, America will be free once again. Quickly followed up with uh, the 90th Division Army Plan. We'll prepare the artillery. I want a lot of artillery. I want a lot of flipping artillery. You know, let's go with prepare the artillery first. The indisputable winner of the Valkyrie was artillery. With it, our army may advance over suppressed enemy, as well as atop or stop any enemy offensive dead in tracks. As such, our immediate priority would be to repurpose the Navy's spare cannons to the artillery branch, as well as fund the development of new artillery models and improved artillery parts to facilitate mass production of this deadly weapon. As, actually, for these divisions, uh, these cavalry divisions, we actually start with a lot of militia. And I figured, you know what? I don't want a lot of militia. So, and we're going to go with superior firepower, too. So I convert all the militia to cavalry. Which would be nice. So we can only get 1.114 political power every single day, non-core states. We want to recruit as much as possible. So hopefully we can just take land. Just take land. As much as humanly possible, please. And you guys go break over. Get Phoenix. Get Tucson. Like, go. Go. That's nice militia. I don't like the militias. Volunteer divisions. I'd rather have that. And then... Two in San Fran. So be it, so be it. Keep going, keep going. Take some supply hubs. Take all the territory you possibly can right now. Chilean Argentinian War. Oh, and the one division that was promised from us from uh, little Japan's here. Thank you, Japan. Mox prevails. Well, let's see how far we can go. Day three, having a speech. If you want to read about that, please go right ahead. It happens every time you play Kaiser uh, Kaiser Rock. I read it as well. So nice. And the world's kind of falling apart. What is this? Oh, Militia? Ah, Arizona, why not? We love Arizona here. Do we? Okay, sure, why not? Uh, actually, what, is, what, is, what is, template Eden is this? So for, uh, 12 combat with... Mountaineers wouldn't be bad. They're okay. Infantry, volunteer infantry is obviously much better, but... We just want more divisions for now. Why don't you go here? Go around and circle and destroy. That is the go... Oh. Oh. Recall the China Marines, with the outbreak of the Civil War, garrison in the legation seats have been left sitting on their hands in China. Though recalling the division would leave our China's concessions relatively unguarded and our influence in those cities smaller, many are advising us it must be done to win the war. Should we recall the divisions? Nah. Hey, look, the division encircled. Beautiful. Formation of the Moscow Accord, alright, alright, alright. We gotta get in Denver. Wow, we are moving 
fast. I love these horses. Anything else here? We can push on the front if we really wanted to. Uh, oh, what's this? Suppress resistance. More compliance. That's not bad. Uh, I'll get more divisions first. I do want to get down to at least for early mobilization, but we'll see. Nice. Very nice. We're fighting for America, of course. As well as Last Bastion, American Democracy. Thank you very much. I want a lot of Artie. Crossing the mountain, Rocky Mountains. Yeah, we definitely want that as fast as possible. The Rocky Mountains is a formidable geographic formation that separates the beloved West Coast from the carnage in the East. However, with the fate being to claim the rest of America, we'll have to cross the Rocky Mountains eventually and face our enemies. As such, we should begin preparation for a smoother, smoother campaign through them. Oh. Uh, you always just go right there. If there's anybody in here, we'll, we'll encircle them pretty quickly, so. Push on the front. Um. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll do that. I think we, once we have it for enough time, it'll be okay. Gonna hold. Crap. Well, that's not good. I can't believe they're already all the way in New Mexico. New Mexico you say is pretty darn strong right now, which sucks. Sucks actually quite a bit. Horse boys. Order sort of Idaho. Over the past couple weeks, the Pacific Government Force has been busy in Idaho, arresting those we feel have been hindrance to control, and helping our local sports burn the good word amongst its people. While well, unreasonable that, as American citizens, they have no reason to fear our presence or efforts, have still begun to bear fruit, even in the midst of all this chaos. Excellent news. Awesome. Are oh, they actually pushed it into us? Oh, that's not good. Come on, y'all. Push in. We gotta have Denver. Order sword in Montana. There you go. Nice. Even though it's only Montana, we still gotta take it. Cross is on the dawn, huh? This is not good. I want you all to hold here. I want you to not attack. I want you to not attack either. Alright, so that's any independence. You just stop, stop, stop. We don't have the resources to keep doing that. Oh, Denver's the capital now. Oh, DC must have fallen. That sucks for y'all. Go in. And then we're going to have to really hunker down. You know what? We're going to do it on the longest front. Utah, good. Fall of Denver? Oh, as it should. As it should fall. Federal collapse, probably. Fairly already. Crossing the Rocky Mountains. Defense contractors? Unlike some command stock economies in Europe, we must rely on contracts to produce our weapons, ensuring uh, these companies are prepared for the new civil war should be top priority. Nice. Very good, very good, very good. I thought we were going to have the federal collapse very soon, but maybe not. Just keep Denver. For me, that's the most important thing. Cheyenne's nice. Can't support the federal government. Today, the Canadian government, through, through them, the exiled British leader and the entirety of the Entente, declared support for the U.S. of A as a true and only legitimate claimant to the mantle of American leadership. Stop short of promising direct military intervention, they've offered to bolster federal forces with equipment and volunteers as well as an array of military advisors. Their statement has stated solely that America was required to maintain world order and prevent the dissolution of one of the world's greatest powers in chaos. How dare they interfere in American affairs? How dare they? How absolutely dare they? Fourth of July? Well, if you want to hear about that, please go ahead. Six Temper Tyrannus, of course. Of course. Ah, oh, them bloody themselves on that little spike there. Good. Nice. Now oh, you become just normal infantry. There you go. The goal is just hold out for the most part. Support from the resistance? Earl was firing for the Pacific elsewhere in the U.S. and made contact with the government or offering the Rangers casualty supplies. Oh, that's great. Awesome. Actually, actually, I might want to wait to get some of these guys. This would be really good to get. Some better supply range. Organization supply consumption. Ew, divisions. Ooh, resistance rises in the Midwest. Support for the Democratic opponents in the Pacific government has been strong in the American Midwest. With several protests on the streets were frequent. Many of whom appear to be placing blame for the Civil War squarely on the shoulders of General MacArthur. These protests have recently become more organized. <clears throat> and have culminated in widespread uprising across Colorado, quietly funneling and equipment through underground means. Whether these rebels will open up a new front for the Civil War remains to be seen. Hurrah! Uh, fighting along the West Coast between cynical sympathizers and security forces has been severe in the recent weeks, of course. But finally dropped off within the last weeks, leading to hopes that the Union and, uh, Unions out West have finally given up hope for the success. This hopes were dashed away as a new uprising was revealed. The number of militias organized by powerful teams during Long Sherman unions in Washington, Oregon State, and armed throughout through underground efforts. This opened a new front of the Civil War. Should the rebels find a way to break out of the mountains? More syndicalist scum. Oh boy, 1937, of course. 
Uh, what if, anything else we have here? 37. Yeah. We're trying, we're trying hard here. Crossing the Rocky Mountains. Fence contractors. Yeah, I don't know. Without a can of support, this is going to be a pretty tough fight. Uh, what else do we have around here? Especially without not enough supply. Oh, we got some of the stuff here. Ben really thinks he can win over here. We can help him out, maybe. Maybe. Just maybe. Um, I definitely want to help ourselves out. Don't worry about that. Please go ahead. Boom, 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 boom. Go with some bar tea coming. Do you have some coffee? Coffee's well to have a little sip sip of, so it's not bad too. Go on and help out William down to your lady. Um, more capture trip attack. Stage first. Cross magician just in case. So the goal really is just hold out as much as possible. No guarantees that we'll do super well, but almost hold out. Absorb as many hits as possible. Let them suffer tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of attrition if possible as well. <clears throat> More divisions, nice. Horses, that'd be good. But yeah. Floyd Olson passes away. I don't know if you remember that, please go ahead. Soul goes marching on. Alright. I want more organization. Even less supply stuff would be really good, so. Uh, Merrill, Frank Dow, Dow Merrill, Hat Arnold, uh, Sturgis. You have four names, so we'll go with the guy with three names. That should help us out quite a bit, actually, for supply. The so goal is to hold. Hold me gold. And then attack once a week. Hit him in the butt. Hey, organs restored or under us now. That's good. Good, good. Joint Chief of Staff. Creation of a high command able to coordinate enemy uh, army, air, and naval efforts needs, is needed to win this war and keep the military up to date with modern theoretical standards. Not a bad idea. Not a shabby idea. Destruction. Nice, nice, nice. So, like I said, the goal is just mainly just to hold for now. Attack bombers. Get those guys eventually. Grab some of that too because you can. Ooh, just not lose number too much. Yeah, we're holding out fairly okay. We're doing better than I thought. Long as troubles rise up in Kentucky. Here we long always held strong support in the heartland. The states like Kentucky and Indiana only bear in swinging elsewhere in the 36th election. Now, while long as supports have risen up in Kentucky and the surrounding region, taking up arms, gained through the underground to band together and open up a new front of civil war. Let's not help them in the long run. Oh, whatever. My response is just whatever. Uh, so they order store in Wyoming. It's not huge, huge gains there, but that's all right. You know, I'll take whatever we can get. You guys go in here. See what y'all can do. Because I want to be. Oh, we have too many divisions now. Dang it. Okay. No, you can hold it. Down. That's fine. That actually helps us out quite a bit. Because then the next one we'll mobilize this a little bit more. So to this one. Ooh. Better supply consumption. Walkie talkies. Army Rangers, so oh, this one, Defense Logistics Agency. America's an enormous country full of varied terrain. We need to create a centralized logistics board able to control, coordinate a warfare across the varied bombs of America. Oh, yes, please. More organization. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Ooh. Actually, that's too many divisions, right? Ah, you know what? I don't, I don't care. it will be fine. So we've mostly so far been able to stop their advance. Which is very good. But we're not perfect yet. Alright, 90 Divisions Army Plan. While Marshall originally envisioned that the reformed U.S. Army would require 265 Division Plan to be fully mobilized, the limitations of the West Coast make such a plan a pipe dream. And so she decided to adopt 90 Division Plan with the objective of raising uh, a total of at least 90 divisions against America's enemies. L L Legationary government confirms Ambassador Johnson, although the American Ambassador, Ambassador Nelson Johnson offers resignation to the American government in the West, President Frank Miriam has refused his resignation. 
They believe his presence is a stabilizing one. And <clears throat> that he's more am amendable to political change than suggests his successor, Patrick Hurley. They'll do his job well enough and cool. Very nice. Do want some motorized eventually though. Get old motorized. Motor, motor, motorized. Help him out, help him out. Hey, uh, you can win there. Oh, no, I'll see. You have a lot of army XP, we'll probably do okay. Um, Y'all okay down here? You can help out here too then. That ain't bad. Still get 1.16 every day, which is pretty decent. Nice. Keep getting that army XP, y'all. Look at it. Go up. Yes, 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 yes. We're doing well, better on guns now. Artillery sucks. Austrian Queen arrives. Friends in the Austrian Empire have sent us a shipment of infantry equipment to aid in our struggle. Much needed. The feds does not collapse. They actually got New England, which is kind of, I thought, isn't that kind of rare? Venetian Revolt. All right. Revolt, boys. Revolt. There we go. It's going to help us out quite a bit. Airplane catapults not really going to help us out too much right now, but whatever. Better already. Better defense. Yes, please. And, uh, big plan. Very good. Motorization program. With the original rejection of the motorization plans, the guys have loomed over the American armies and methods have become backwards as opposed to other militaries. Marshall now has proposed the government to subsidize truck production to bring the seizure of civilian trucks to the creation of motorized units capable of crossing the American countryside before enemies can even react. Follow them from takeover. Oh, wow. Thanks, guys. I'll take them extra convoys and you got them. I have a lot of focus on horses in this campaign. Like, mo just be motorized. As long as we can hold out, that's all I really care about, though. So this should be slightly less affected. Should be nice. Artillery's not looking super great. Um, we have the garrisons here already, which is very good. 12 combat with. And I already put them over here for garrisons, right? Yes, sir. US of A, whatever. For you guys, we'll actually make you a little thicker. By a little thicker, I mean, like, quite thick. We have quite a few horses. I'm not sure how we make these horses that quickly, but you know what? I'm not going to ask questions. 1937, 38, 38, uh, go and grab that, it's fine. Bigger, thicker, stronger horses. Nice. Ah, uh, better supply consumption. So, so good. 6% of the way there towards becoming a cavalry leader as well as an infantry leader. Not bad. Cost reduction for that thing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now we'll actually be able to win here, but whatever. We'll see. Cavalry. Um, it says he's an infantry leader, but he's not a cavalry guy. We'll look ambusher anyways, because this only applies to infantry attacks, so. Motorization, increased tank production. With the West low Coast low manpower, the High Commanders had to design a plan to effectively improve whatever man's worth in the field. In any of those plans, expanding tank production to the West Coast comes as priorities, with relatively little manpower cost and high combat effectiveness proves that it'll not only save us lives, but helps push enemy back more swiftly. At least that's the idea. Officer instruction. Marshals have presented this issue to our government, and his solution is to create four uh, study bases, with more experienced officers mentoring younger ones in tactics. This may put more of our officers on the line of fire. It'll also ensure a new generation of officers get first-hand experience, as well as improving our army's leadership on the lower echelons as a whole. Constance units. Knowledge is power. Marshall believes that without the former two, victory in America will be impossible. We're outmanned and outgunned by enemies, but if we know our every, their every movement, then we can nullify our enemy's superiority, superiority by outwitting them. Start Operation Glacier. The yeah, object of Operation Glacier is to secure a lodgement area on the Midwest from which further offensive operations can be developed. The lodgement area must contain sufficient infrastructural support to maintain a force of at least 15 divisions across the Rockies, preferably double that amount, and that also enable the force to be augmented by reinforcements from the West Coast area. All right, Army Rangers. An elite group of specialized soldiers, Army Rangers, will be able to co carry out covert missions in rough terrain, disrupting enemy supply lines morale and walkie-talkies. Portable radios, or walkie-talkies, as they're commonly called, represent a powerful tool for Army. With them, our troops can coordinate artillery and airstrikes, among other things. The Army requisitions civilian trucks. After Marshall announced his motorization program for the WDC, a proposal was sent to the President to decide on the requisition of civilian vehicles. In order to supply our fast-growing Army with this approval, we have begun seizing vehicles from the civilian populace, although to our surprise, some proud patriots line up next to our soldiers to volunteer their vehicles for the income and fight. While not all their vehicles have proven to be useful for us, we've managed to requisition a fair amount of trucks, which can either be modified to transport troops with ease, or which are sturdy enough to transport troops at once. Their service to our nation is appreciated. All right, everyone. So I've done a lot of this off screen. It's already July, not July, January 1940. I don't know, a ton of focuses, and this is how we have ended up. Um, the game ended up being extremely unfair, and having the entire Entente going to war with us, and for some god-awful reason, America, 
started just crapping out literally like 210 combo with infantry divisions, no supply issues whatsoever. So I'm just like, screw this. So I deleted all of uh, Canada's armies and navies because I, I I don't want to deal with it. Like I, I, California, Washington, Oregon cannot fight basically half the United States, the rest of the other half of the United States, as well as Canada and the entire Entente. So. So they do consequences already in the first episode, which really, really sucks. I don't like that at all. Um, but, you know, at this point, when I play Hoi 4, I just kind of don't care anymore whether if I've used consequence or not. So it is what it is. It really sucks. Don't get me wrong. It really, really, really flipping sucks. But, oh well. But yeah, for some reason, they were just crapping out tons and tons and tons and tons of divisions. Look at this. Just, and they're only 10 combo with, too. I don't understand how they can just, they could, they crapped out. 200 divisions and has zero supply issues. I do not understand how it happened, but uh, here we are right with this right now. We have sport equipment out of motorized. It is what it is. Um, and they have a couple of divisions up here too. Like it, it's been super annoying. It's been really flipping frustrating. But whatever. So I did all the entire United States Air Force uh, branch. For the World American Army Air Corps was, as the name suggests, a little more than a branch of the army. If in this new war we need to ensure it's independent, it is independent and gets the support it needs. Established acts. The Air Force Tactical School is the officer training school for the old Army Air Corps. Given the results of the Civil War, it's clear that we must rebuild the acts in order to better prepare forces. Long range interceptors. We'll have a better bombers is vital to win the war tomorrow at the enemy's doorsteps. These bombers can sell them operate on their own. They'll need an escort uh, capable of facing off enemy fires and come back in one piece, luckily for us. Plane designer Kelly Johnson has contacted us. New improved innovative design, the P 38 Devil Lightning. Strategic bomber uh, development. Tactical bombers are all well and good, of course. <clears throat> For support of the men on the ground, but the two potential bombers line strategic bombers. When they get through, enemy sees an industry left in ruins, and the will of the enemy to continue the war is shattered. A large fleet of strategic bombers make us very powerful. In the meantime, the U.S. Navy. The American Navy was once the pride of the world, yet much of it deserted to the traitors of the East. We should review what forces stayed loyal to our government so we can best determine how they can best serve in this war. I'm okay with doing this, uh, this for now. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Oh my god, I hate this so much. This war is pathetically stupid. Like, I don't like this. We divisions getting defeated around here all the time. And we these guys I yeah, the American Civil War has never been balanced in my opinion. But the Great White Fleet. The Great White Fleet was a height of American naval power. We should look back at it for inspiration. A great fleet of battleships and dreadnoughts will ensure we always have naval superiority. Battleship development. Battleships are king of the high seas. We should start researching the new models of bigger guns and better anti air production. I'm not going to take away anything from here. This is stupid. The French state should never, ever, 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 ever be possible. Like like as a rump state here, be able to invade America. Like it, don't, it don't make any sense, man. It just does not make any lick of sense. It just really does not. Send them boys with Montgomery. They will cooperate, but they're not going to be able to do very much. They do send divisions down here, but they can't really do much if there's no supply. Never ever been balanced. Radar. Radar is a new proposal being investigated by the top minds of Stanford and Caltech and promised to change the face of aerial warfare forever. Strategic disruption. Now that we have the bombers we need, we must develop theories and train and make the best use of them. Half Barnum, the old bomber mafia, formed a solid foundation for our theories, and we shall now develop the theories and see more, uh, more and more and further than they. Airfield expansion. The range of our fires and bombers are limited by the airfields to which they are attached. By proving both the quality and quantity of these airfields, we'll be able to strike more targets frequently. Expand the bomber force. Our early experience in developing bomb force proven promising. Now it's time to go on all and bombing the enemy into submission, leaving nothing but, but rubble. Expand the wasps. Women can fly a plane just as well as a man can, can provide many valuable auxiliary tasks, freeing up men for other duties. What's well, social controversial is being a valuable step in winning the war. Bomber development. Our Air Force leadership led by Harold Arnold's convinced that a strong bomber force can bring our enemies to their knees. Following their advice, we shall. New fighter models. When men are confident that the bombers will always get through, we must hedge our bets on that. New fighters will serve as well in both offense and defense. Screaming Eagles. Airborne divisions are a new development of warfare, but one that, prom that promises to hold significant bonuses. We should investigate creating our own airborne units. Naval support. Our Navy is not invulnerable, and there is a genuine concern that they might not be able to win every high seas battle that they need to win. By investing in some naval bombers, we can even odds by striking any hostile ships in range of our air bases. Light cruiser development. Lighter cruisers are important in anti air operations, as well as attacking enemy destroyers and subs. We should ensure our Navy is a handful of these in order to stay balanced. Balanced ish. Thank God for the goddamn socialists. Because, my God, the American Civil War, like I said earlier, it's never been balanced. Never been balanced. Ever. Never, ever, ever has it been balanced. That's it, too. Because we're going to need some convoys, too. And there we go. There goes Liberia. Well, let's see what happens. 
Um, more divisions? Sure, why not? Hmm, that one's okay. Naval stuff. Probably this one. Yeah, it's quite unfortunate. I wish it was balanced, but it just ain't. Got plenty of guns and artillery, though. Volunteer cav. Garrisons, paratroopers, volunteer infantry is pretty darn decent, I'll be honest. These guys are pretty darn decent as well. 27 combo width. Pretty darn good. Let's go over here anyway. Let's grab some of this. Victory or death, fall of Wuhan. Victory or death. Uh, speed would not be bad. I want some barrage. Suppressive barrage. More breakthroughs is always nice. Use that one for now. Cool. And more rubber too. Or sword and Oakley. Very nice. Netherlands join that there rocks packed Reno. Finish him up and off, please. Thank you. Find him, kill him. Peace to Canada. Perhaps we have occupied Ottawa. Look at that. And currently the Canadians are in the wrong. Perhaps the town is coming to make peace unless we find ourselves dragged down to expansive territories? No. F them. F them harder. That's so stupid. They went to war with us for literally no reason. They're just cheating, just deploying units all willy-nilly. That's why I don't mind using cons commands. This is stupid. This is incredibly stupid. Why would they go to war with us? I just don't understand. I don't understand. At this point, I don't care. Like, it's ridiculously bad. It's so bad. Why would they do that? Why? What's the point? You see his war. It's so stupid. We can force the attack more, but like, come on. I do that too. I mean, why would they go to war with us? Especially when they want to go to war with the Reich's Pact, or or I guess the. N Matter of fact, they're international. It literally makes no sense. And now I have to use cons commands to make sure that we don't lose this stupid war because the Entente should never go to war with the PSA for the most Expand part. Expand dockyards. Our dockyards are somewhat inadequate to fight on their own. We ensure that this new naval production facilities are to construct to support the war effort. Battle cruiser development. Battle cruisers present a middle balance between heavy battleships and fast cruisers. We should ensure we have some in our navy. New admirals, uh, for the Marine Corps, Liberty ships, probably. Our shipyards period is dedicated to commercial shipping and can easily be converted to produce mass amounts of convoy supply islands around the world. But at this point, like I said before, I said all the same thing before. I don't like this American Civil War. It's very unbalanced. And it's, sometimes it should be, but it's just not fun. Better collapse? Thank God. Jesus Christ, this is stupid. Yeah, every time. It just don't, don't it just doesn't make any sense. Usually it's the Reds that are overpowered, but they were they were they were fine this time. They were actually okay. But like I thought it just didn't make any sense. Why do the feds get so much? I mean, yeah, I'd fight the Entente stuff, but, you know. Some of it just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But I still got these ding-dongs to fight as well. Which, which, why? Why? Why would Canada intervene? Like, I, mean, I guess it makes some sense too, but they screwed up so badly that Germany's going to lose. Good job. Good job, AI. Great job. That's exactly what we're going to see. was a long polling. Put down resistance and they're technically still at war, so the game is kind of screwed up now. American Civil War's over. Oh, Fourth of July, one more time. Not bad, not bad. Protecting Colombia, so the Civil War's over. Um, are we supposed to get an event or something like that? Fifth Balkan War. All right, well, whatever. Um, do that too, because you can. Anything over here? No, we're good. We're good. We're decent. So, when's the Civil War over? Oh, do we get the entire American Navy? You know, I just, I don't like this. I just really do not like the American Civil War. It's one of the worst things. <laughs> God, wreck. It don't make no sense, son. There you go. God dang, come on. Well, I, I have a very strong mouse, mouse pack. 
The rock's back, don't we? go and then you'll be led by some dude like uh, this guy Jester I want to be able to get way less reveal chance there we go and loading Joe will be really good as well too so we'll get there eventually anything over here better anti-air not bad and I guess American Civil War is never going to end love it absolutely love it I know I could complain less but this mod's been out for so long that you think it'd be balanced by now, or at least, you know, slightly more functional. But no, it's still not. So, the American Civil War is quite literally over. But, it's not. What, what, is there anything else we're supposed to do here? This is so stupid. Why is it still like this in 2022? <laughs> Oh, I gotta love it. Gotta love it a lot. Oh, let's focus on more naval stuff then. But we're a couple more ship oh, ships. Focus is, and then we'll call an episode. Sub development. Subs allow us to wreak havoc on enemy shipping and heavy ships. We should ensure that our designs stay up to date against enemy destroyers and any self tactics. Maritime industry. Well, not nearly as historically significant as on the East Coast, we still have strong legacy of commercial shipping. We should ensure that this industry supports war effort. New admirals. Many admirals deserted to the trade to the East. We should train a new generation of naval leaders to ensure continued dominance. Or this maritime dominance. Create the waves. Women can serve many auxiliary roles in the Navy, freeing up men for combat duty. Those might be socially controversial, but significantly help the war effort. Improve the Marine Corps. The Marine Corps was the epitome of American power projection around the globe. From the shores of Tripoli to the halls of Moctezuma, the Marines were always there. We should sure they have modern equipment and training. Naval training? Expand the Marine Corps. I never use this one, because this one's just better. While the Naval Academy in Annapolis was destroyed in the fight in the Civil War, we still have plenty of facilities able to train a new generation of Naval leaders and sailors. Semper Fi. Semper Fidelis means loyal is loyal. The Marine Corps will always be a bastion of American liberty and democracy and help spread these freedoms around the world. And then Columbia, Jim of the Ocean. Following our extensive <clears throat> improvements in naval research and construction, we've regained our place as world's one of the world's leading naval powers. Anchors away. But I guess it's going to be it until. Or so, what the heck? South App. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow when hopefully we'll have this completely resolved and Canada's going to be completely dead. Because no one likes Canada. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.